Welcome back tailgate talk fans. Uh, this time we've got a project in the camper. So the problem is uh, when uh, we go camping my wife uh, she gets the master bedroom and uh, I often end up out here on the futon kind of fold out sofa thing for reasons that I don't understand. But anyway uh, this window here is uh, opaque but yet it doesn't keep out a lot of light so what i want to do is and i kind of made this up i don't think i've seen it anywhere else but i'm gonna i'm gonna take this uh windshield uh cover that goes in an automobile you know this is kind of folds up like this and uh i'm gonna take out uh some screws here and uh the corners and then i'm going to take these uh snap fasteners and uh, you can see the instructions here, kind of what I'm going to do. Uh, that probably kind of demonstrates it the best. I'm going to uh, put these snaps. Uh, I'm going to cut this, obviously, to fit the window. But I'm going to cut this, uh, put some snaps in the corners, and then uh, put these. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Uh, these here. I'm going to... Uh, Take out screws there, 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 and there, and uh, put these guys in those corners right there uh, to have something to snap to. So again, this is a totally uh, something I just kind of dreamed up. Uh, I've seen these kind of, they're made in fabric and things like that, but uh, the general complaint is they don't fit very well, they don't keep out light, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm going to give uh, this uh, windshield cover here a try. And uh, this, this is like five bucks. I've had this thing around forever. I don't even know what I paid for it. That can't be more than five bucks too. So uh, hopefully for 10 bucks, I'm going to solve uh, this problem of light coming in through this window while I am getting my beauty rest right here. So the first step is complete. I uh, took out four screws and then I replaced them with the buttons in each of these corners here. And I apologize, it's already dark outside, but I gotta get this started because we leave for a trip uh, in just a couple of days. So uh, first step, success. Uh, next thing I'll do is uh, make me a template so I can uh, cut out the shape that I want from my uh, uh, screen there. So now what I've done is uh, I went and uh, I went and made me a paper template. Mm -hmm. And all I did was take uh, six sheets of paper and tape them together. And the nice thing about it is you can use the upper edge of your door uh, to make sure they're square. So now all I have to do is tape the bottom, pull it kind of taut, uh, tape it down. And then the next thing, all I have to do is remember, find my buttons back here and burnish those a little bit with my finger. So that's going to give me an indent of where my holes need to be. So then I'll take this down and I'll put it back on my screen over there. And that's really all I need to know. I can take some measurements uh, off of the edge here and uh, just, just, uh, make myself a uh, a template of uh, how big you know I need to cut this and also I can I can also take a pencil and maybe burnish the bottom edge and go all the way around if I want to and that'll give me the exact fit but I don't think I want an exact fit I think I want to uh, have a little bit of overlap you know just to uh, dampen down uh, any light that might get around the edges so I'm going to do that and then we'll move on to the next step of actually using the template uh, to cut the screen. So I thought this was worth showing once I got the template up there and I started marking uh, my buttons. I did that with a pencil, just kind of scrape over it a little bit. How easy it was to actually mark the outer edge of the, uh, the plastic frame that's behind there. So again, I'm probably going to go a little bit wider than that plastic frame but I just wanted to show you, gives you real easy reference 
of uh, where, you know, if you wanted to go right to the edge, where you should do it. So I'll use that and probably add an inch around the outside if I can. Okay, we're back in the shop here. And what I did, uh, obviously I cut my template out and I've got it taped down uh, to the material here. And uh, just a little side note, what I found difficult and what's got me worried is uh, the, the folds, uh, keeping that laying flat while I get everything marked. But yeah, we're just going to forge ahead and see how this turns out. So uh, again, I wanted mine a little bit wider uh, than the window. So what I did was I took a level, which is, uh, I guess that's about an inch wide. And I used that with a Sharpie uh, to make my lines, my cut lines all the way around. And I uh, don't need a cut line down here. I'm just going to cut that uh, piece of trim off the edge there and as you can see there's my there's my buttons and uh, so the next step will be I believe uh, just to get regular pair scissors here and start whacking this thing out and I haven't decided if I'm going if I'm going to round these corners or not I probably will I'll probably get it get it cut out and then uh, take this template here just move it over and uh, mimic that same shape so, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to forge ahead in the next shot. I'll have it all cut out and we'll see how, what it looks like. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, what I need to do is uh, take an awl here and uh, I'll punch through that and hopefully punch through the paper there, such as like that. And then I believe I can take my, take my Sharpie here and uh, just put a mark, put a mark down in there, and I should be able to see that once I take the template up, and then I'll I'll do that for all four, so I have all my my buttons marked. So didn't want to forget that step. That's pretty important before I take the template up. Well, I got some bad news, Toge Talk fans. I got got it cut out, and uh, I don't know if it's just the nature of this material or. Uh, this thing was old or whatever, but anyway, as you can see, uh, once I cut it to finish, uh, the uh, reflective aluminum finish just started coming off of it from every, every direction. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to uh, try a different material. Probably going to find something else to use. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to note that in case you... Uh, start following along here and get to the point where uh, you're deciding what material to use. Again, I'm not sure if it's just because it's old or what. But anyway, good news is I, uh, I kept my paper template, so all I have to do is find a, a fabric or something else to use to uh, to use my template on, and I didn't didn't waste my buttons. So. Like any good project, uh, things go wrong sometimes, right? And uh, those who adjust and uh, can adapt come out on top, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find another material to use and be back. Okay, here we are with our finished product. And it's actually been like three months uh, since I filmed that last clip. I put the camper in storage, got busy with other things. But I wanted to show you the solution I came up with. This is actually a uh, screen that is made for camper windows. Uh, but what I didn't like about it was comes with these uh, little Velcro stick on things. And I don't know, to me, that's just like a real crappy way to uh, put something up. And if it doesn't work, then I got sticky crap all over my window and frame. And anyway, so I just wanted to go with my original concept. So I took the screen and uh, put the buttons in it uh, just like I had planned. Snapped it up. Uh, the only thing I anticipate is uh, I'm going to have to be careful when I take this down. Probably not going to be able to grab the corner and just snatch it down. Probably going to have to put my fingers back there and snap the button uh, off real easily and uh, be careful not to tear it up. But hey, that's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, it was a uh, solution that cost me about 10 bucks and you know just just a little bit of time i enjoy doing these things so it's not really a waste of time for me 
and uh, I think it solves the problem. And honestly, hey, when we're out camping, we're out doing stuff during the day, and I'm probably going to leave this thing up uh, probably 99% of the time anyway. It's an opaque window. You can't see out of it. And hey, at night when I'm sleeping and my queen is back there in the in the master bedroom and I'm right here cranking out some Z's, this window is going to be dark. And uh, so this is, this is a solution that works for me. I could not find a fabric uh, that did a good a job. I bought a couple of things and brought them home and they just didn't block out light. So I'm anxious to get on the road and try out what I've done here but I really think it's gonna work. So uh, if you if you uh, learned something or came up with some ideas, share those below and hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Take care.